Closed captioning is brought to you by Scent Thief. Make the wind your cover. This week on Interlocks Out There. Gearing everything up. Corey and his mom head to New Hampshire to hunt black bear. The entire family has been to New Hampshire with good friend Tom Parker in the past, but this time it's mom's turn to fill her tag. Will the dogs find what they're looking for or will the bears outrun their noses? Given the time and the place, yeah, one one dog will tree that bear. It has to be the right conditions. It, everything has to work out just right. He wants to get away from that dog. It started with a dream, a vision, and a passion. But eight years old already put it into action. Who knew back then the outcome would be? Me with my own show on national TV. Learned to love the outdoors from my dad as a kid. Now kept me out of trouble, so I'm thankful I did from doing projects in high school to be a field producer. Never lost focus on my goals on my future. Now I travel around the country, stalking my prey. From deer frogs and buffalo to record size rays. The boat fishing guru while hunting extremists. From archery to rifle make the transition seamless. A year round adventure. I prove that it can be. The only thing that matters more to me is my family. So come and make these memories. I a lifetime with me and watch it on in the locks out there TV. Let's get out there, out there, out there. Let's go out. New Hampshire, a U.S. state in New England, is defined by its quaint towns and large expanses of wilderness. In the north, White Mountain National Forest is known for winter sports areas and Mount Washington, the region's highest peak, with a cog railway to its summit. Also in the White Mountains are moose and black bears. Northern New Hampshire is a beautiful state. Big mountains, giant cutovers, and plenty of roads to drive on to look for critters. New Hampshire, what a great place to hunt. It's a gorgeous state and there is a ton of game to chase. Lean property rules make it as fun as you don't need to worry about trespassing unless it's marked. This makes bear hunting with dogs easier on the houndsmen and hunters. One of the great things about New Hampshire that I love is the leniency on the properties. Meaning, you know, where I'm from in Pennsylvania, every single tree in my area is posted. You can't go on there. Uh, in New Hampshire, they're old school. They still believe in, you know, go enjoy the, the properties and, and have fun. So there's a, a, a lot less uh, property that's posted in New Hampshire where we hunt, uh, making it a lot easier for the bear hunters. In years past, Corey and his kids have been blessed to hunt black bears with Army veteran Tom Parker. Tom's knowledge of bears is second to no one. His passion for hound hunting goes far and beyond the normal hunter years of experience, hours of training, and decades of wisdom are shown on each and every hunt. A 40 pound bear, and it's up, tucked up in the top of that bird. So we're gonna try to a bigger one. Well, 2018, I believe it was, Cammy got her first bear. We had an awesome hunt. And uh, when Brody became of age, he's like, Dad, I want to go bear hunting. And I asked Tom, so a couple years back, we took little Brody up there and he had a memorable hunt.
did it. You did it. You didn't have to second get your to guess yourself. You were on him. I first I saw you said like on the bottom, but then I went on the bottom. Tom Parker. What can I say about Tom? Uh, we've became really good friends over the years. We've done a lot of hunts together, and uh, I'm looking forward to a lot more. Interlocks Out There is powered by Interlock Broadheads, American-made and deadly by design. AMS Bow Fishing. Umarex Air Guns. Luminot. And by Slockmaster.com, home of the Tim Wells Blowgun and the Kill Squeak. Products seen on today's show can be purchased at mikesarchery.com. Black bear hunting is very popular across the United States as well as Canada. Typically, you sit over a bait pile and wait. It's fun and exciting, but I like to hear the bark and feel the thunder of a pack of dogs running through the woods. Don't be fooled. The dogs sometimes get fooled, making even the best dogs look silly. If and when the bear trees, well, that's when the hunter moves in for the shot. The bear typically hangs out in the tree, allowing the hunter time to look over the bear. And that's when you make the choice. Typically when the dogs run, uh, you hope that they catch up to the bear and they chase it up a tree or bay the bear. Um, this gives you an opportunity as a hunter to really look over the bear and make sure it's the one that you want. Um, a lot of times when I'm hunting over bait, um, bears come in, they grab the bait and they leave and sometimes you rush a shot, you get so excited and you might have a little ground shrinkage. When it's up in a tree or being bayed, you have a lot of time to look over the bear to make sure it's the one that you want. Robin has her tag, proper hunting license and is ready to rule the woods. But first she makes sure that her Excalibur crossbow is still tuned in from the trip up from Pennsylvania. Robin will be using the Interlock Carnage on this hunt. The Interlock Carnage is a 100 grain three blade rear deployed head with some unique technology. The blades are held together with a wrap. Once deployed, this broad head has the shape of a field point. Once the Carnage hits its target, those blades rip through the wrap, leaving a huge entry and exit hole. She starts off early in the AM. Tom, Zach, and the guys will walk a few dogs on some trails where bears are known to be. If the lead dog sounds off, the guys will release a few helpers to go find the bear and run it down. GPS units are attached to the dog, so keeping track of the dogs as well as the bear is easy. Houndsmen for years have taken hits from the anti-hunting groups. This truly is a great way to hunt bears and take only the bear that needs to be taken. In some cases, females are let go Younger bears are passed up and only the trophy bear are taken. One of the most iconic names in the outdoor industry is here to talk the talk. Talking Time with Tim Wells is powered by Slockmaster.com. Here's some of the spears that I've used over the years. This is the first spear I ever killed a wild boar with. This is some javelins that I threw in college. And this is the first blowgun I ever had. Built that when I was a kid. And uh, you can see that it's pretty primitive, but I killed a lot of critters with this baby. Even made my own darts. So, I kind of keep it up here on the wall now, but hey, we all got to start somewhere, I guess. And uh, a lot of times, well, if the truth be known, I'd say probably half my fans are kids because they love what I do in, in terms of throwing spears and, and shooting the blowgun, a lot of that childish stuff, but uh, it sure is fun. And so over the years, a lot of kids want my blowguns, but uh, some of them are pretty little. So I built the new Slockmaster Junior and uh, the Junior Blowgun is uh, really cool. It comes with the uh, soft darts and life-size targets. There's a rabbit and there's quail and uh, you know a starling, chipmunk, 
pretty neat. And they sit right there. You can, they got little stands for them. You can set it up. So check it out. If you want to get your kids something cool and they can uh, start practicing with the Slockmaster Junior, here it is. Check them out online at slockmaster.com. Interlocks Out There is powered by Black Widow Deer Lures, Rackroids, Honda Marine and Honda Generators, Lakewood Products, Bark Shark Tree Stand Accessories, and by these great partners. Interlocks Out There is brought to you by Outdoor Edge, makers of the highest quality game processing sets to do it yourself and save. First morning we wake up, we all meet at Zach's and the morale's up, everybody's pumped. We're talking to the dogs, giving them a, a pep talk. Different than shooting at a balloon. Just go in and pull it. Target, target. Put it on the, behind the leg and let her go. You ready to go kill a bear? Yes. You got me one? Are you going to get me one? Are you going to get me one? The boys are gearing everything up. We got these little cool trucks. We're going to be hunting with our good buddy Tom Parker. Tom's um, and Zach and Andrew actually <clears throat> have helped uh, my daughter get her, her bear and Bree really get a bear. And my mom's never killed one, so let's we'll see if she can't, uh, see if these dogs can put one up a tree and mom can put that interlock where it needs to be and uh, we went out to the the local cornfield found a track and walked the dog the dog cut and uh, it was game on a lot of times with us Tom will start off in the, the local cornfield because it's got a lot of bears visiting it and I've been on several hunts out of this cornfield dogs a cold trail and a bear and we'll see if they can get it jumped the hunts on the dogs are hot on the trail and no one knows where the bear will go. It's exciting times for Robin and the crew. Well, because it was a cold trail, the, the, the dogs, you know, didn't really realize which way the bear had gone, but Tom, hit the right button on his GPS, got the dogs turned around, and it was game on. Seems like his, he was going pretty good. But now he might be just walking it. It's a fairly decent track. There, so we don't necessarily know that we're on the right bear. There was a smaller track in there that seemed older. Maybe from either yesterday or the day before. We're just dogs cold trailing, and we're trying to get other ones in, and they went backwards, but we'll get them straightened out here. Tom's trying to feed dogs into the to, into the first dog that got uh, got started there. Um, I, I'm not really sure what we need to get further up there, uh, but I'm gonna let Tom see if he can get. You know, we're gonna see if he if he can get dogs fed into it. Um, he's kind of coming. He's gone up through here and he's kind of circling back around down toward where we started. So we'll see if we can get him going. Now these guys are awesome. They can tell in the GPS when the dogs are gonna cross the road. So the bear had crossed the road, we got there, we collected a few dogs, we put some fresh dogs on, and we were keeping that bear going and in hopes that it would soon climb a tree or bay. So the bear crossed in front of them. They rode up through here, the bear crossed. And uh, Tom put some dogs on them. And uh, at first the dogs went the wrong way, which is a normal thing right off the bat. He pushed a button, turned them around, Boys put them on the right. Now they're in there. Bar, 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 bar. So now the chase is on for real. Keeping your firearms in a safe place is very important. Out of sight, out of mind. This week, Cameron explains why guns should be locked away and out of reach. 
One of the most important things you can do with an air gun or any firearm is keep it in a safe place. Gun cabinets or gun safes are great places to store your firearms. Transporting a firearm in a gun case is a very good idea, so it doesn't fall into the hands of a smaller child or inexperienced shooter. One of my favorite places to store my Umarex air gun is in one of these Lakewood cases. Lifelong cases for lifelong adventures. Interlocks Out There is powered by Interlock Broadheads, American-made and deadly by design. AMS Bow Fishing. Umarex Air Guns. Luminox and by Slockmaster.com, home of the Tim Wells Blowgun and the Kill Squeak. Finally, we get the signal, the bear's treed. So now we had to find the easiest access point to get as close to the bear as possible. Uh, they knew exactly where to go, and we were 450 yards from the bear. As you get closer and closer to the tree, you can hear the dogs, and that's when your heart really starts to race. We get to the tree, we look up, and there's a big black blob, and I mean a big bear. <sighs> They got them gone, throwing more dogs in, pulling dogs out. Roll in here, dog, the bear's up in the tree. Big bear, too, for New Hampshire, for anywhere, really. Mom got set up with that Excalibur and uh, had just enough to squeeze an arrow up through, and uh, she made a good shot on him, and the bear tumbled, and, uh, and there it is. Mom's over there, we're getting photos, having a great time. Every one of these guys did an awesome job. It's a team effort. Um, you know, some people frown when they say, oh, you're running these bears. But this gave my mom an opportunity to, to look over the bear, make sure it's not a cub, not a sow with cubs. Um, you know, it's a mature bear and uh, presented a shot. She took it and there it is. So, uh, you know, dog hunting isn't for everybody, but it's for us. And it's a heritage up here in New Hampshire and it's something we really enjoy doing. Brody's got one with Tom. Cammy got one with Tom. Now my mom got one with Tom. And I'm gonna try to twist his arm a little bit to see if I can't send an arrow up into one later this week. But what a beautiful day here in New Hampshire. We're gonna get the Outdoor Edge knives out. They're gonna clean this bear up right here in the woods and we're gonna carry it out. And then we'll get with the, the game warden and, and do all the paperwork. Now. As you can hear, them dogs are still fired up. They wanna go run another bear. So time to get the Outdoor Edge knife out and make the cut. So when we clean this bear out, this is the stomach content out of the bear. It's strictly corn. So you can tell that this bear has been living around that cornfield, making all kinds of damage in that field for the farmer. Um, it's, uh, it, 
they're, they're a big nuisance for these farmers. Uh, it cuts into their livelihood. It's taking money uh, basically out of their pockets. So they really appreciate everything that we do. Um, as you can see here, again, like I said, this is clean corn. There's nothing else in it. So that bear is living in the corn, feeding off just the corn. Well, after we got the outdoor edge knives out, they got it all cleaned up, we walked out, we gave a call to the local biologist because they have to check the bear in. This gave me an opportunity to ask the biologist um, some specific questions uh, pertaining to the cornfields because it's such a problem right there in northern uh, New Hampshire. Yeah, we you know, we have comp we pay compensation in New Hampshire and that, that number has been increasing. Um, Last year, in eight, 2018, we paid out almost $90,000 in corn damage. Um, that was our highest year ever. Um, last year, although it was one of the worst years we've seen, that the, the the amount wasn't quite as much as 18. But this year, you know, it used to be that you'd have no damage on these good food years, but we're seeing it every year to some extent. Well, even though mom's tag was filled, Tom wanted the adventure to continue. So um, just prior to going home, we got to go look for moose and listen to Tom call. And we called in a young bull as we were getting ready to head home. It was an adventure that uh, I know my mom, nor myself, or my dad will ever forget. Interlocks Out There is powered by these great sponsors. For more information on Corey and the team, be sure to check them out on all social media platforms, including Facebook and Instagram. It's a year round adventure. I prove that it can be. The only thing that matters more to me is my family. So come and make these memories last a lifetime with me. And watch it on in the locks out there TV. Let's get out there, round there, round there. Let's go out there, round there, round there. Let's get out there, round there, round there, round there. Let's go out.